Hello all, Rambling Canuck, back for another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Today's video is going to be for my fellow YouTube creators who are just starting out and that are like me and don't have the top of the line system and don't really have a big wallet. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the video editor that I use, which is VSDC. The link for the website where you can download VSDC will be in the description below. So I hope this video is helpful for you. So with that said, we're going to make a quick little slideshow just for fun. All right. So let's get started, shall we? So right now, this is the main window. So once you've downloaded it and you've opened it, this is what you'll see. So today we're going to make a slideshow. So you go over here, you click create slideshow. Once you've done that, this window here, which is project settings. Now for the purposes of this video, we're just going to call this slideshow. And then you would come down to here to finish. Done. Okay. So then this window pops up. Now, each one of these squares will represent your slides. Each one of these circles will represent your transitions. So let's get some slides in here, shall we? So you click the first one. Now it opens to this right away. However, for your system, it may not. So basically you go to your folder that you have your pictures in, you select it, you select your pictures that you would like to add to your slideshow, click open, and it will import them into your editor. Now, if you want your pictures uh, to show up differently, in other words, in a different order, it's actually really simple to do. Let's say I wanted this one here. Well, I would simply left click, hold, drag it over and drop. Now, keep in mind, if you drag it over, the picture that you drop it on top of is going to move to where that picture was. So, now, if I wanted to move this one so that it would be third place, I click it with my left click button, drag over, and drop. Okay? And then it pushes that one over. So now what we're going to do is we've got all of our slides the way we want them, except we notice down here that they're only five seconds. Well, we don't want that. We want each slide to last for 10 seconds. Okay, no problem. Select your first one so that it's highlighted like so. Then click select all. Then come over here to duration. Now, as you can see, it says 5,000. So 5,000 is five seconds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this. We're gonna change that to 10. So now it's 10 seconds, but it would be 10,000 because that's the way VSDC works. So then you click the check mark. Once you've clicked the check mark, as you'll notice, all my slides now are 10 seconds each. Now, let's say for some reason you've decided that this one, you only want five seconds. Well, again, you select that slide, come up here, change this 10 so that it's 5,000, click the check mark. Now, because I don't have everything else selected, only that slide, only this slide here changed. So now we have everyone else at 10 seconds and this one's at five. Very easy. Now we want a transition. So we don't want it just straight picture to picture to picture. We want a nice little action in between. So now you select this arrow. Now for this, we're gonna go select all. So now as you can see, all these arrows are selected, which is your transitions between your slides. And for this one, as you can see, there's many different options that we could pick. But for this one, we're gonna go with um, this one here. So horizontal two which is in skew. 
Okay, so we're going to do that one. Looks kind of cool. We like it. All right. So to add this effect, you would click Add Effect. And because I've had, I, I had selected Select All, every single one of these transitions is now our horizontal two. So now we've got our transitions picked. We have our duration for each slide picked. And we have our slides in order in which we will like them. Awesome. So now what we do is we click Apply Settings. Once we've done that, it will bring you into the main editor. From here, you can preview it by pushing this play button here. You can adjust sound, which we don't have right now. So before I started this video, what I did was I went into my YouTube studio. I went into YouTube audio library and I downloaded a song that's appropriate for this slideshow. So I downloaded a Christmas song. So if we come over here on the left hand side, there's this long bar of tools. These three are the main ones you're going to use when you're first starting out anyway. So this one is add image, this one is add sound, and below that is add video. Well, right now we wanna add sound. So we click this once with our left key. We go to the folder in which our music is stored. We click the song that we would like, and we open it. We go okay. And now we've got our music in our editor. The only problem is, is our song is longer than our our slideshow well that's not gonna work very easy fix this little thing here I call a ticker there's probably a technical name for it but yeah we're gonna go with ticker so we move our ticker right to the end of the slideshow so it's right near the end here okay and then what we will do is we will left click once, or pardon me, right click once on the music, on this piece of music here. So we right click once, move up to cutting and splicing. Now, once you do that, this window will pop up. Now, as you can see, this blue line is in exact coordination to your ticker down here. So if we go like this, see how it's got the little arrow? I can left click, hold, drag to the end, cut, apply settings, and now our music and our slideshow are the exact same length. So now I want to make this the MP4 so that I can upload it to YouTube. So to do that, up on the top row here, we have Projects, Scenes, Edit, View, Editor, and Export. So we're gonna click that once. Now for me, it automatically shows me this. For you, on your first upload, it will be this, because it automatically default settings for PC. So what you'll wanna do is click Web, right beside PC, once then it will give you this, these options. So now you wanna export it for YouTube, so you click that, then you go to conversion, click, then start conversion, click once with the left mouse. Then you go continue, and then it will convert your slideshow project into an MP4 that you can upload to YouTube. So we're gonna, because this one is a very short one, it won't take very long, so we're gonna sit here for a couple of seconds while it converts. And then I'll show you where these files are typically stored. And then we're done for the day. So I hope that this video will be helpful for you guys. I know this isn't really rocket science or major editing, but it is a fun little editor. It gives you pretty good options for for being a free program and again it doesn't task your system so I definitely recommend it I use it for all my videos so hopefully this is helpful for you guys alrighty and we are almost done yay
Okay, so now VSDC will ask you if you want to upload to YouTube right away, right from VSDC, because that is possible. However, for today, we're just going to say no. Now you have your slideshow. It's been converted to an MP4. Where do I find it? Well, that's actually really simple. If you have Windows 10, you'll see this little folder. Click it. Go down to this PC. Go to your videos folder. And that's where your slideshow will be. And there you're done. You've created a slideshow and it's all ready to go up to YouTube. So I hope again, this video has been helpful for you guys. And I definitely strongly suggest VSDC video editor, especially if you have like a really a, an older system like I do, or you're on a budget. I really, really recommend this. It, it's helped me be able to make my videos a little bit more attractive and I hope it helps you. And until next time, take her easy folks.